Good to see you. How are you? Hello. Thank you for asking. We are good. You're in Jakarta right now? Yes. I would love to go there. That's somewhere that's on my bucket list of places to go and play. Yeah, you should come in here. Mate, mate, it's on the list. It's somewhere I'd love to go. Is it what what time is it there? Uh this is what time? Four PM. Okay, so you you're behind us. <laughs> A couple of hours. Still got some <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining us on the show. It's good to see you. Of course, uh, you're coming to Australia for the first time ever to play South by Southwest and a few shows around the country, including my neck of the woods, Gold Coast, which is super exciting. But how are you feeling about coming down here? Uh, we are so excited, but actually, because this is uh, our because this is our first time in Australia, it's also nervous. <laughs> Oh, it's. I think you're gonna have the best time. We'll look after you. We hope so. We hope so. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. You're gonna love the Gold Coast where I'm at. We got the beaches. We got the mountains. We got all the theme parks as well. I think you're gonna want to wow. hang around for a few days. That's for sure. <laughs> it's gonna be great. But uh. <laughs> Of course, uh, you know, this year has been a really great year for you by the looks of things. You've played Glastonbury, which is massive. Um, you know, how's it been seeing all your dreams unfold like that? And how was that experience in particular? Um, it was a great experience and it's still hard for us to uh, see it as a real moment. <laughs> you know, we... Uh, we we went to a lot of places that so far from home, and even our parents didn't know how where where the place like we go like they don't know but okay so or anything, but uh, we are so happy because we can learn a lot of things and we can share that to our family and our friends in Garut. That's awesome. Yeah, this year, I believe, marks 10 yeah. years for you as a band. Because you formed in 2014, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, 2014. So that's 10 years. Wow, that's, that's amazing. That's a really good achievement. Have you celebrated you. that in some way? Or did you forget that it's because of everything going on? Oh, we have so much to do. So it's... It's like there's time to celebrate anything. Yeah. <laughs> anything. <laughs> like we just, every day, yeah. Like every day we just um thinking about making music and you know show and everything. So sometimes we just celebrate it like uh eat together. <laughs> you know, it's spicy food together. It's all it's enough for us. Do you think you're closer friends now after all you've been through together? Sorry? Do you think you, that you're closer friends now oh. after being together so long? Are we close? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, some people say that, like, because uh, we live together, like, in the same home for three years. Mm. And, um, we also become friends for more than 10 years, actually. So, uh, we, yeah, maybe you can say it, we are close. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, of course, you recently released uh, the single Mighty Island, and uh, it's really good. It's more progressive than your previous, yeah. which is, it's awesome. Um, what inspired that? Um, actually, we made this song on to, uh, 2021. Mm -hmm. It's three years ago. 
and uh, it's almost this song is almost uh on the first album like uh we decided to put it on the first album but <laughs> you know a lot of things happen so <laughs> uh we uh finally keep it until this years and it's we in, we got the inspire from uh different artists like city what what you listen while, while you making this song mm, gojira yeah the drums is influenced from gojira and the bass <laughs> i forgot i oh, forgot <laughs> <laughs> uh, but for the vocal uh honestly i got the inspiration from traditional traditional sundanese uh tune so that's why i also put some sundanese lyric and we are very happy about this single because we think that we can show the real pob on this album do you think you're going to be writing more in that style more of the progressive stuff it's come naturally like we we didn't we didn't plan to become progressive or something <laughs> so it's just sweet with the mood fit with the mood love it love it and of course um you know your musical influences vary from everything from you know rage against the machine to system of a down uh, to even gojira um but has there been a band that has inspired you when you've been out there on tour, you've seen a band play and, you know, you've you've gotten into them or, or, you know, become a fan of that you've adopted some of their sound into your own? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are, they are the biggest influence yeah. in our <laughs> music. Uh, we learn a lot from their music, uh, their lyric, and also their aligned, uh, alignment, alignment yeah, with humanity. humanity. So you you know we adore their braveness. So they are so genius. Like they are, they have bold lyric and unique music. Yeah, that's why when we produce uh, our music, we also uh, got the influence from them, and we put it on our music as uh new yeah. new things to strengthen our parts. Awesome. And uh, of course, uh, your debut album, Rate it, Retis, is that how you pronounce it? How do you pronounce it? Uh, Retas. Rete, sorry? Retas. Retas. Is that... Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, great. Because <laughs> if it wasn't, I'd say you come to, to the Gold Coast, so you can just come and slap me and say, you're saying it wrong. <laughs> no, um, no, no, no. I'm oh, sorry. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Um, which means rare. Is that correct? Is that what that word means? Rare? Retas, yeah. Uh, you know, what, what inspired that title? So, Retas, uh, it's like, it's like a break in, yeah, or removing something, such as a steam or crossing a rock. Yeah. We just this name because, uh, we hope that in the future, this album will open our way and destroy anything that stands <laughs> in our way. <laughs> That's good. Because, I mean, I don't think there's anything stopping you now. <laughs> no one wants to stand your way. I mean, you, you know, you're a powerful, powerful band. Uh, another one is, um, what was I going to ask you? Sorry. The instrumental song from that, Kawa Kawani? Is Kawani. That oh, Kawani. Kawani. Oh, Kawani. Kawani. Oh, yeah. Kawani. Yeah. Um, you know, was it hard to write that song without vocals, you know, and just focus on the music musical side? Uh, actually, it's it's fun and it's fun, and we can express ourselves even even more on stage because uh, we think that just let music do the talkings. That's <laughs> that's what Kawani means. Um, also, Kawani is from Sundanese means uh the courage uh it's it's like teaches us to build the be loud 
to try new things, to unite anything in one container and uh, show the result to the world. It's like new experimental for us. And how do you choose when you're writing the lyrics between English and Sudanese? How do you pick which part you're going to do in each language? Um, it it depends on our mood when we it. <laughs> so if we think that it suits in Sudanese, uh, Bahasa or even English, we will use it because we think that languages is just a symbolic thing so we can mix it up and let our imagination be free because uh, people who love the songs will always it will always find a way to understand it and uh there's pictures of you playing with an orchestra on facebook my friend mentioned uh is that something that you know you want to you are you looking at working with an orchestra Oh. <laughs> okay. oh, oh yeah, it's uh, it's so old far? video. Yeah. Hmm. It's uh, old video. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, so far we have no plan to collaborate with orchestra for new album, but who knows? Yeah, <laughs> who knows? <laughs> Every possibilities is still possible to happen. Yeah, because we have been, we have played with uh with orchestra twice, mm. and it's really fun. Maybe it will become. New project, maybe. maybe. <laughs> we don't know. That'd be cool. Is that challenging yeah. when you have to work with that many instruments? You know, ah, yeah. How does that feel? It feels strange <laughs> for the first in the first time at first because uh, we uh, usually we we only play like three instruments when we are on stage. Hmm. And it's uh when it have more than three instruments, it's more than like more than three tones. And at first it's confuse confuse us, but it's still fun and we can enjoy it. Still can enjoy it. Yeah. Oh, that'd be amazing. That'd be amazing to do that. <laughs> Uh, so going back to your Australian tour, what are you most excited about apart from playing the shows? What are you excited about Australia? Mm, excited about Australia? Yeah, there must the, be something. Yeah, <laughs> tiredness. Actually, we, we 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 don't know a lot about Australia. It's really a new thing for us. Yeah, but we we are sure we are sure that um all the nervous and all the doubtness will will disappear when we meet the audience. Okay, you know they always have magical ways to help us recharge our energy. <laughs> yeah, and also. There is a feeling of exploration and adventures that will reflect in our performance in Australia. So we can't wait. We are so excited. Yeah. Koalas, kangaroos. Yeah. And also I I saw on TikTok, is that real is that uh true that Australia has like a uh, big spiders? Yes. Oh, I'm, not, I'm really? not going yeah, I'm I won't lie to you. Yes. <laughs> but but but, but oh. no 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 no. But the they can be like that big, but they those uh -huh. ones, they won't hurt you. They they are you they, sure? <laughs> yeah yeah. They just I've got them in my garage. They live in my garage, but they they don't eat people. They just eat flies. <laughs> they don't eat we ride them to work. We drive them to work. Um. Yeah, it's the little ones that you got to look out for. The little spiders and stuff. Are the, are the, but the big ones, they won't bother you. Snakes. Also, it's, it's bigger than normal spider. Uh, I don't know. Well, they're called... <laughs> Depends where you go. <laughs> Depends where you go. I'm not, hopefully, fingers crossed, you don't meet one, but they won't hurt you, I promise. Oh, okay. That's, okay? Good. That's good. All right.
They just look scary. But, uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. It's not too bad. Where you're going to be, there's not going to be any dangerous animals. But where I live, which is out in the bush a little bit, we get big snakes, big spiders. Wow. Yeah, yeah. All the big animals out here. Yeah. <laughs> so, but. Uh, That's cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It is cool. It's cool. Well, hopefully you get to see some koalas and the nice ones. The nice animals. You know? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no but uh, what's after the tour, what's next for you going into the new year? So we are working on a new single. So we will release a new single again, like uh, next next month. Mm-hmm. And we are also planning to uh, make a new album on the early of 2025 and we hope we can make another tour maybe <laughs> awesome yeah a lot of big things will come yeah it's exciting i'm excited for you and you well deserved you work so hard you know and thank you <laughs> so here's to another 20 years of vo yeah right. years. yeah that's it well, uh, thank you so much for joining us on the show. It's been lovely meeting you. Uh, I will okay. see you on the Gold Coast. Okay, see you. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye.